Hello everyone, my name is Yogdog and welcome to a preview of the Axis Operations 1944 DLC. Um, so this is the screen right at the end of the 1943 DLC. As 1943 draws to a close and temperatures drop, so too do the lines of the Eastern Front freeze in place. The German gamble in the Caucasus has almost entirely secured the region, with only a few Soviet holdouts left on the edge of the Black Sea. But Soviet victories around Moscow and Leningrad proved the Soviet Union still has the will and ability to continue their fight, and so both sides begin to lay down plans to continue the struggle into 1944. So as you can see, I went down the ahistorical route, and I'll be doing the ahistorical campaign in 1944. So let's see how this goes, shall we? We're going to import into Axis Operations 1944, and we get to choose which path of the campaign we're going to be using. And for, for us, it's going to be uh, 1944 is going to be the ahistorical campaign. And they're, they're very different, as you can see. So let's launch alternate history, shall we? So there are going to be quite a few events that occur off campaign, possibly. Uh, we know that Italy is pro uh, proceeding basically the same way it did historically. Uh, and the Allied advance is quite sluggish in the area. I do wonder whether D-Day uh, is a scenario we will end up fighting or not. So just a quick... Uh, a quick comment on the the nature of the particular run I'm doing. I'm, very, I'm doing a very nice and chilled, easy run through. So I'm playing on like the second hardest difficulty. So it's still well, second easiest, I suppose. Uh, and I'm playing with ten commander points active. And going from there. So I tend to have Panzer General, Industry Connections. Uh, let me remember now. It was aggressive deployment, force concentration, deadly grasp, trophies of war, and then master of blitzkrieg. So it's just meant to be a nice, chilled, easy run through, um, and we'll be continuing right here. I am playing with all secrets unlocked. I've got all the caches. Um, I've not missed any any stuff, so I have my ME262s and so on. So, let's see. Current deployment here in the Southern Caucasus. We certainly anticipate an enemy attack to challenge our new claim on the oil fields. The direction of the attack is still surprising. British forces have been spotted moving up from Persia to attack. We need to hold both victory hexes uh, or we need to capture all enemy victory hexes and destroy the Soviet uh, 47th Army HQs, Elite Objective, which is new I believe, control both Astara towns. So it's a major ally supply lane for their lend lease efforts. Only contingency plan case orange called for a defensive line set up here at Tabriz. All costs we must hold here. We do have some scattered auxiliary forces, but they like the power too much more than slow the enemy advance. Some elements of the Soviet 47th Army have been spotted. If we can destroy our command tanks, it will seriously disrupt this already isolated Soviet battle group. Reports of fighting on the thin strip of line between the mountains and the Caspian Sea. So reinforcing will be almost impossible there. There's British paratroopers in the north to begin with. Only commit our force if we are ready for a serious challenge. We have several of our veteran units in reserve. We plan to assault distant Astara, uh, reorganize our current deployments, and also point more veterans out of reserve if we required. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, von Manstein's no longer in charge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Everyone expects the Western Allies to launch some kind of invasion this year and the Atlantic War will need all the reinforcements it can get. Our struggle against the Russians in the north is continuing to go poorly. It seems as we capitalize on our success in the southern regions, the Russians leverage their strength in the north. So after lifting the siege of Leningrad, the Russians have been using the city as a base of operations to attack our positions in the Baltic region. Russian success in the north are quickly becoming a looming threat we cannot continue to ignore. Okay, so we have 160 points available. That's a rather generous amount. We have two enemy armies to fight, the USSR and the UK. And we're going to have a look, see whether there's any new equipment available. We have Osttruppen. No new uh, tanks as of yet. No new recon. Stugfors are now in, in uh, generally available. We actually have uh, Yag Tigers as well, so I might end up using those. Uh, we've got flat guns. Could upgrade to that flat gun, actually. Ooh, Focker Wolf TA154s. They're pretty intriguing. I think I'm going to use the Heikel 219 still, though. They got better stats for ground attack, but not enough to justify it, and you lose a lot of air attack. You do have a lot more movement points, though. BV141 recons. And I think that'll be it. So I am going to be putting. Yag Tigers on the right flank. I'm also going to put my main artillery piece and my main anti air over here. I wonder if you got a higher range. Uh, I don't think so. Free range seems about about the same. Then we will need some of our all infantry over here. I put the Panzer Free Ends as well because they're going to need to deal with the enemy artillery there. Uh, power troopers, not artillery. And now we need to focus in the south here. Recon down over there. Let's put the Yag Tiger on the airfield. Let's put the Hank Hill 219s there. Fokker Wolves can be based out of there. Let's get our grenadiers out. I'm going to use the Wurfermans down here. Is that a flak tower I saw? Yeah, flak term. Huh. That got produced really quickly. And I got four points available. I might bring you.
would cost me a couple of points, but upgrading him to the Fokker Wolves isn't the worst idea. We do lose a bit of range. <laughs> I don't think I'm actually going to use Uris Fivero. We have Panzer Three M's. No, Panzer Three N's. Max strength. Okay, let's see how this goes. dealt with uh, forces up there straight away. Valentine Fours. And five Stuarts. What have we got? Spitfire Mark Nines, Whitleys, and Lancasters. In fact, you need to shoot this one though. And that will do, I think. So we've got 18 turns to do this. Have Soviet troops, uh, sorry, British troops on the left here, more Stuarts and so on. God, there's a lot of them, isn't there? We got any fighter squadrons? We do, quite a few of them. So I don't think we're going to be utilizing them for this turn. Problem is, that's on broken ground. So I don't really want to do that. Right, we'll let them move and see what their plans are. ones, SU-152s, Halifaxes, yeah the four might of the, the allies has been pitted against us here.
Crusader anti airs. Churchill Avras. Oh, okay. Uh, as you can probably hear, there is a bit of background noise. Next door is doing DIY. It's basically, unfortunately, a bit of a common fixture at the minute. Uh, if I do start doing anything particularly loud, I really apologise and I'll try and mute as much as I can. The hordes, they keep coming. <laughs> We're gonna have to chew through some of our initial uh, advances here. So I'm a bit worried that the group on the left hand side just jumps through our forces. Oh, hello. Garrison got survivor, nice. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit worried something jumps up through here, so we'll have to see on that one. Where's our Fokker Wolves? They're going to be needed. Fire Mark 2s, let's take you down first. idea to leave you because that leaves you basically in a forest. Now I'll have to do. It has weakened them um, quite significantly in that area. Expected, those Churchills are going to be a bit of a pain. That's not the best attack, but I did need them out of the way. I think we'll send you here, fully replenish you. I'm going to send the Panzer free ends to try and hold over here with a unit of infantry. Right, no, 
that's just the group in the north east hello where's it now Maybe I'm better served for destroying a couple of units around it. But well, I think that's the biggest unit I've ever seen. Right, so everything. Uh, my tap bombers, I haven't committed, not this turn. There's just too many enemy fighters on the map to do so. Next turn is good weather again. Well, it keeps you busy. They're probably going to turn around soon. So the Soviets do have some forces in the center, but they're not the main threat here, it's the Brits. Especially the Royal Air Force. It's going to have to be a pretty big and successful counter-attack to deal with everything. That's a bit of an ouch. Bloody hell. They basically just wiped out my Panther Freeze in one attack. That complicates matters significantly for me. Right, with our artillery eliminated, that will make things a bit easier. We do have crocodiles, which will probably move in and be a problem, but we'll sort that next time.
Kitty Hawks. Some church on Mark Four is captured. the HQ's dealt with. I'm going to probably need the Fokker Wolves to defend you. Maybe not. We'll just try and use utilize you over here instead. Okay, tigers are doing a good job of her. ones captured excellent that was actually quite a nasty attack I'm, I'm a fan of that turn that'll be camouflage doing its job amount of yak tigers so I do need to be careful with them oh to be fair my oh god well he moved my anti air north to kill a unit was a bad idea uh, to be fair I don't really use my anti tank much I tend to just rely on tanks Okay, the surround there is super bad for us. I don't know how to approach our eastern point, to be honest. I think we need to do things a bit differently, but how? Well, if I put you on here, you have an attack. Uh, 
which should keep you safe. So we destroy the artillery next turn and then, yeah, that, that should be a bit better. units to worry about. Got better ground attack stats. Eight and eight compared to ten and ten. So be you. the HQ tanks uh, dealt with again. That's the SU-152s. You can already tell, if this is what the missions are going to be like, there's going to be some ridiculously difficult missions. I got a pretty damn good group of uh, units at this stage, and uh, yeah, they're getting found out a bit in some areas. Hoping that keeps you safe now. At this strong point, I am really hoping keeps these busy for a little bit. Okay. I'm wondering how you approach this in the east. So it's an elite objective.
Well, uh, let's pull you back to here. You can go there. If I put you there, then the crocodile's just going to rush forward and destroy you. I can't put you in AT mode, because... Maybe I need to go back to the drawing board here. Alright, well that'll be wrap for this first episode. Once again everyone, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.